Hello, welcome to this video. It's Lena Chen from DetailLena.com and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to buy Bitcoin in Nigeria using the Binance Exchange. So if you are in Nigeria and you've been looking for ways to buy crypto, then this is that complete guide for you on how to go about it. So if you are new to this channel and you love videos about making money online, about crypto trading and investing, then consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published. And for you to be able to buy Bitcoin in Nigeria, you need an exchange. You need a crypto trading exchange. And Binance is one of the um, largest and best crypto trading platform that has made it very easy for us, most especially those of us in Nigeria. If you want to buy crypto over here in Nigeria, then the only way you can go about it is via this P2P. P2P um, simply stands for peer-to-peer. -peer. Um, because it stands for peer-to-peer -peer doesn't mean that you need to give your money to an individual or go to um, social media and give your money to somebody expecting that the person will send the money to your wallet. No, you don't need to do that. You need to use a secure platform. And that secure platform is the Binance Exchange. So we are going to be using the Binance mobile app to buy Bitcoin and I'm going to walk you step by step on how to do that. So to be able to do this, you need an account with Binance. If you don't have an account with Binance, link will be in the video description to sign up for an account. So all I just need to do is, if I come in here, once I log into my Binance app, um, there are basically two ways I can assess the Binance um, P2P trading platform. So number one is to click on where it says P2P trading here on the home page, or the second one is to go through the trading tab that you see down here. So first, I will go with the trading tab, then come back to show you how to do that with the P2P trading on the home page. So if I go and click on trades, here on trade, you see that we have um, different tabs here. We have spot, we have convert, we have margin, we have fiat, and we have P2P. So since it's P2P, how to buy Bitcoin, our concern here will be to use the P2P option. So if I go ahead and click on P2P, it brings me to the P2P interface where I can buy. Um, here I can buy Bitcoin, I can buy USDT, I can buy with my Naira, I can buy Bitcoin with my Naira, I can buy BUSD with my Naira, BNB with my Naira, Ethereum with my Naira, and so on. Then another way to access this same interface is if I go back to the home page, is using this option, um, this P2P trading option here, yeah, this one I first showed you. So if I click on it, it still brings us to this interface. So once we are on the P2P page here, there are a few things I want us to take note of. Number one is this, this option here where you see P2P. If you click on it, you'll see other options there. So once I click on it, you'll see that there is a P2P, there is Express, and then there is a Block Trade. I previously made a video on what this three stands for. I will probably leave the link in the video description. But basically, in this video, if you want to buy Bitcoin, what you need to follow is you either use the P2P option or you use the Express option. Now, the difference between these two is if I use the Express, um, by default, Binance will automatically search for the available, the next available crypto trader and match me with that person to go make payment. But when I use the P2P option, I am manually going to select the trader that I want to trade with. So that is basically um, the two differences here. But in this case, I'm just going to use the P2P to walk you through how that works um, in buying this Bitcoin. So I'll go ahead and select the P2P option. I want to select the P2P option because I'm in Nigeria, that's why my currency is showing up here. And everything price that I'm going to see here will be displayed in Nigerian Naira, meaning that all of these persons that are here are ready to sell via bank transfer. So every trader you see here is ready to sell. And another thing I need to do is after um, selecting the P2P option, the next thing I want to do is to click on this filter where you see filter here. So click on that filter. And when you click on it, it pops up, it brings up this page. And when it brings up this page, the next thing you want to do is leave every other thing as it is. But what I want you to take note is where it says only show us from merchants. Merchants are those who are verified by Binance to be able to use this P2P platform. So make sure you click on that to show us from merchants alone. So I'll go ahead and check that on. Once I check it on, I get, I'll go ahead and click on yes. Then once I click on yes, after all of this, remember that you can buy any of these tokens that are listed here. 
any of this um, crypto that are listed that you can buy all of this but my concern here is to buy bitcoin so i'll go ahead and select btc um, let me go ahead and check that and once i select btc here you see that we can buy and then we can sell but our focus there is to buy if you know how to buy crypto using the binance b2b platform you can equally sell using the binance b2b platform so selling is that you sell and they send the money directly to your bank but buying here is that i can buy make a transfer and Binance stands at the, as the middleman between me and the seller of this um, Bitcoin. So that is why it is secure, because um, Binance automatically has a way of securing these funds for you once you initiate a trade with that trader. Now, Binance has what is called the escrow service, which secure your fund. And how the escrow service works is that immediately I initiate a trade, let's say with this trader, and I want to buy a hundred thousand worth of Bitcoin. Before this trader is listed here, or before Binance allows me to buy from this trader, it means that this trader has Bitcoin worth a hundred thousand naira. Even if it is a hundred million or one one million naira, I want to buy. Before this trader will be shown to me for me to be able to buy from this trader, it means that this trader has Bitcoin worth that one million naira. And once I go ahead and click on the buy option here and initiate a trade with that trader, Binance automatically deduct that 100,000 or any amount of money you want to buy worth of Bitcoin from this person's account and save it in a safe wallet. So it will be there until after I make payment and this trader acknowledges that he or she has received my payment. That is the only the time Binance will be able to release that crypto to me and if for any reason the persons fail because some of the fear is that what if I make this bank transfer and this person refuses to make and release the payment the person cannot refuse because already Binance has deducted that worth of crypto from his or her account and they are saving it using their this their escrow service so it means that the person cannot cheat you neither will you cheat the person you understand so in any case as i'm going to walk you through this after making the payment you need to get a, a screenshot of your transfer and then save it on your phone um, because if this person refuses to make the payment then you need to report the person to binance and binance will automatically release that crypto to you and that is why i ask you to check this and make sure that you are showing us from merchants alone all of those that are verified mentioned by binance will never deceive you they are not going to delay you immediately you make payment they are acknowledging it and your crypto is released to you immediately so how do you know a verified mention with the binance um p2p exchange all you just need to do is this yellow check mark here it means that this person is a verified mention this person is a verified mention and if i keep scrolling down all of these persons that are having this yellow check mark here it all means that they are all verified mention with the binance p2p platform so buying from this people you will have no problem and another thing i want you to note since we are using the p2p we are going to be searching for um the person we want to buy for let's say i want to buy a uh, bitcoin worth a hundred thousand here i am on the bitcoin tab and i want to buy bitcoin worth a hundred thousand naira. it means that i'll be looking at the limit this is the limit for this trader and this person is only selling from fifty thousand to about six hundred and six thousand upward this person is selling from 5,000 upward to about 70,000 and it goes on like that. If you want to buy Bitcoin worth um, 10,000 for instance, you can't buy from this trader. If you want to buy Bitcoin worth 1,000 Naira, you cannot buy from this trader. So this limit means that you can only buy from 5,000 upward or from 50,000 upward. So if I scroll down here, you will see the different limit. This person is ready to sell from 500k. Um, to about 5 million, this person is from 100k to about 800,000 and so on. So the more I scroll down, the more you see different um, offers with different limits. So you want to look for that person that you can buy from. For, for instance, this person is selling from 5,000 to about 112,000. So in this case, and the more you keep scrolling down, you see that the price keep, you know, um, changing. So here, this person is ready to sell at 2.9, this person is ready to sell at sorry 21.9 million this person is at 21.8 million and so on so the more i scrolled up here you see all of the different 
offers. So what I can do is to buy from this first person here that says um, from 5,000, this person is ready to sell for 28 for 21.8 million here. So I'll go ahead and click on buy. I want to buy from this person because this person can sell from 5,000 over, meaning that if I want to buy 10,000 or 20,000, I can buy from this person. So if I go ahead and click on the buy button here, So once I click on the buy button, it brings us to this page. And here, because we are buying, we want to make sure that this buy by um, by fiat is the one that is checked. We are not buying with crypto. We are buying with fiat, which is our own local currency. We are buying with our Naira. And we are going to buy via bank transfer. So the next thing I need to do is to add the amount I want to buy here. Just type in the amount you want to buy. Um, remember, always keep an eye on the limit. This person limit is from 5000 to seventy. Um, to 70,000 right so it means that um, if you want to buy 100,000 you can buy from this person so the limit you can buy is between that 5 and 70k so go ahead and make sure you take note of that so in that case I'll go ahead and enter my price unless I want to buy Bitcoin worth 10,000 Naira so I'll go ahead and enter 10,000 once I enter 10,000 and the next thing is to buy click on this buy with zero fee another thing i, I didn't mention is that using the p2p option in nigeria you're not paying any fee it's just the bank transfer and you are done you're not paying any fee um, using this platform so i just go ahead and click on this buy with zero fee and once i click on this buy with zero fee we are brought to this page here i can chat with this um, um trader and that is the first thing I want to do before I even go to the payment page. So I want to chat with this trader to make sure that this trader is available to carry out this transaction. That is the first thing I need to do. So I'll go ahead and click on the chat. That chat there, so I'll go ahead and click on it. All right, so once I click on it, in most cases, some of these traders will put a lot of instruction here. So you go ahead and make sure that you, you, you follow the instruction here. This person is saying no funny games, make payment, and I will release as soon as possible. So I'll just go ahead and ask, are you available? So once I just type in, are you available? I'll make, wait for this trader to reply. And once the trader replies, it tells me that the trader is online and I'll go ahead and make the payment so that the person can verify that immediately. Another thing I can do is I can call the trader by clicking on this icon here. You know, this icon at the top here. If I click on it, it reviews the person's phone number and I can go ahead and call the person. You see that the trader is available, he, just, he or she just said that I should go ahead. So the next thing we need to do is to go ahead and make the payment since the trader is available. And we are sending here, we are sending 10,000 Naira and we are buying Bitcoin at 21.8 million. And this is the worth of 10,000 Naira Bitcoin we are going to be receiving. So we are sending it to... The payment details is to go ahead and click on where it says make payment here um, make payment so that is what we're going to do so once I click on the make payment this pops up I'm going to make a bank transfer to this person's account this is account name this is account number and the bank name is Wema Bank I can equally make either to his or Akuda Bank which is this account name, your account number, and this back here. So any of these that want to make payment, we can go ahead and make the payment. So, so once I just click on the payment details there, it brings me to this page, and um, this is the CUDA bank account details. So all I just need to do is to go ahead and click on the icon by the side of this account number. That is what I'm interested in, and copy the account number. And another thing I want you to note is that each payment has a 15 minutes time that you are going to make that payment. You are given 15 minutes to make the payment. So once this time comes down, the trade will automatically be canceled. Whether you make the payment or not, it will automatically be canceled. So make sure that you make your payment within that 15 minutes that Binance gives to you. So once I copy the account number, I'll go ahead. Let me just go ahead and make the payment and then come back and show you the successful screen. So I copy the account number, then open my bank app and make the payment. So just a minute, let me make the payment. 
All right, so as you can see, I have successfully made this transfer to the account that was provided for us, the Kuda Bank account. So first, I'll go ahead and take a screenshot of this. So once I take a screenshot of the transaction I just made now, the next thing is to go back to Binance. So once I come here to Binance, I want to click here where it says transfer, notify seller. Once you make payment, okay, after making payment, make sure you click on this transfer, notify seller. So I'll go ahead and click on that. All right, so once I click on that, Binance automatically notifies the seller that I have made payment. It is not left for the seller to be able to confirm that yes, he or she has received the payment and my crypto will be released to me. So if for any reason the seller refused to receive or uh, release your crypto, you can just use this appeal option here and you'll be asked to you know submit your details once you chat up with um, the support and you provide evidence of you making payment that crypto will be released to you so you don't need to bother about that as i said the escrow service of binance is there to you know protect you you don't really need to be afraid of making payment or buying crypto with the binance p2p platform because Binance handles everything between you and the seller of that particular crypto asset that you want to buy. So we'll just wait, in most cases, since it's a bank transfer, just wait for the person to confirm that. And the person is giving 27 minutes, um, 30 minutes or there about, oh, it has been confirmed. So this person, as you can see, we just receive an SMS notifying us that, okay, we have received this crypto, we have received this in our account. So, this is the worth of the 10,000 Naira Bitcoin that we just bought and it has been credited into our account. You can just click here to go to wallet or we just click on done. So I'll go ahead and click on done. And once I click on done, you see um, the details of the transaction I just carried out. It is as simple as that and as fast as that. So it doesn't take anything to buy crypto. Um, this is the step-by-step -step guide on how to buy Bitcoin. In Nigeria using the Binance P2P platform and once you finish buying for instance if your aim is to trade or you know whatever you want to do with it after you finish buying uh, one thing I want to let you know here is that the funds are kept in your funding wallet so when you go to your spot wallet you won't be able to see the Bitcoin so for instance if I go back here to my home page and I come in here to wallet so once I come in here to wallet and I go to my spot wallet you will not be seeing the BTC that I just bought. You won't see it anywhere here. So where you can see that is on your funding wallet. If I click on my funding wallet, you see that this is the BTC we just bought showing up here. So all you just need to do is to use this transfer option to transfer either to your sport wallet or to your features wallet. Anywhere you want to start trading with, just transfer it. And just um, to show you that, let me just go ahead and click on transfer. And once I click on transfer, it's now asking you where do you want to transfer. You are transferring from funding wallet, which is where we just bought using P2P to either spot wallet. Spot wallet is when you want to trade spot and the rest. So once you transfer from your funding wallet to your spot wallet, you can from your spot wallet you can use it to trade, you can transfer it to your official wallet and use it to trade to trade. So since it's Bitcoin I bought. It is Bitcoin that is selected here and you see their valuable balance somewhere here. So if it is USDT or any other coin you bought, you just click on this arrow on, to show you the drop down. And once this drop down pops up, you go ahead and select the crypto that you bought. And after selecting it, all you just need to do is to go ahead. Um, if I click on max here, I'll just go ahead and click on confirm transfer. Once I click on confirm transfer, these funds will be transferred directly to my spot wallet. And from my spot wallet, I can use it to do whatever I want. So basically, those are the step-by-step -step guide on how to buy crypto with the Binance P2P platform. Basically, um, and what I showed you here is just how to buy Bitcoin. As I said earlier, you can buy USDT or any other asset that you want using the Binance P2P. It is as easy as that. And once again, Binance has a system set up. Um, they are escrow service make sure that once you initiate a trading with any p2p seller most especially with their mention mentions don't waste time they can confirm because they have a reputation to actually protect they cannot do anything that will make binance to ban, you know um ban them from using their platform okay so make sure you always use buy from a verified merchant 
and you will be good to go. So basically, those are the step by step on how to buy Bitcoin using the Binance P2P platform in Nigeria. I hope this video was helpful. If it is, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share this video with others. And if you want to be a part of my community to learn more about crypto, to join our daily Zoom meeting, the link to join my Telegram group uh, will be in the uh, video description where you can join, you know, where we post our Zoom meetings link. You can join and we can interact and you get to ask me questions and I get to uh, help you during those sections. So that is it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next video.